Hello everyone, my name is Min. Today I will present a data-driven adaptation scheme for robust bipolar locomotion using step-to-step -step dynamics. Over the decades, researchers have proposed many different control methods to realize stable bipedal walking. These methods can be roughly divided into two groups, model-based and data-driven. Popular methods from the model-based perspective include zero-moment point, hybrid zero dynamics, and various reduced-order model-based approaches. In recent years, advancements in computational power have enabled pure database approaches, such as reinforcement learning. Naturally, both sides have their pros and cons. Generally, model-based methods are highly interpretable and not overly sensitive to hyperparameters when properly set up. However, they can be non-trivial to robustify, and not everything can be modeled accurately. On the other hand, reinforcement learning operates as a black box algorithm, posing challenges in selecting appropriate gains and requiring a substantial amount of data for effective training. However, RL is excellent at making policies more robust against uncertainties both in environments and in robot dynamics. Given this apparent divide between the model-based and database approaches, a natural question arises, can we find a middle ground that combines the best of both worlds? This led us to our proposed method. Our method is based on the framework of reduced order models. The flowchart presented is the data-free baseline implementation. We use the discrete step-to-step -step dynamics of the hybrid linear inverted pendulum model to approximate the step-to-step -step dynamics of the robot CASI. The current center of mass states of the robot is sent to the reduced order model planner, which generates the desired foot placement to realize on the robot through proper con continuous output construction and low-level tracking. The generic nature of the HLIM model leads to model mismatch that can impose limitations on performance. To mitigate this issue, we propose the incorporation of an additional adaptive control loop. This control loop dynamically updates the data-driven step-to-step dynamics for the foot placement planner, integrating real-time robot data to enhance the performance of our approach and their nominal and disturbed scenarios. Now let's take a look at the results. We first compare the velocity tracking performance for different gate parameters. For the initial 10 seconds, Cassie is commanded to step in place, then its commanding velocity gradually increases to 2 meters per second for the sagittal plane and 0.3 meters per second for the lateral domain. With the baseline HLIP approach, we can see that the case with smaller step time and a higher center of mass height at the top has much better tracking results. For the lateral tracking results on the bottom, even such as the plane is commanded to step in place, the robot has a noticeable backward velocity. With the state tracking adaptation, the velocity tracking performance is drastically improved. Next, we assess the adaptive step-to-step -step controller and an additional 10 kg load, which is unknown to the foot placement planner and the low-level tracking controller. As a reference, Cassie's weight is around 33 kg, so this is about a third of its total weight. With extra weight, the realized center of mass height is lower than the commanded 0.75 meter. Anyway, the robot still achieves great performance with the adaptation scheme. We present the results for a modified robot model with 2.5 times of the nominal leg mass inertia property and with a biased 0.4 meter per second velocity estimation error. The output tracking here represents a slightly different formulation that incorporates low-level tracking error into the adaptation scheme. With now a set of much heavier limbs that's again unknown to the low-level controller, an error between the commanded foot placement and actual foot placement occurs. In this case, incorporating output tracking error provides even better performance. Similar things happen to the biased estimation case shown at the bottom, where the robot is commanded to step in place. The method is also evaluated under external drag. Cassie is commanded to step in place while external forces with 100 newtons and 50 newtons is gradually applied to its pelvis. With the baseline approach, Cassie is dragged around and will eventually fall. On the other hand, with the adaptation, the robot can converge back to step in place by finding its new equilibrium. Finally, we test our methods against unknown slopes, which corresponds to early and late impacts. In fact, the arrow of impact time is positively correlated to the commanded step size. This results in the failure of the nominal HLIP controller for dynamic walking at high speed, whereas our data-driven formulation adapts to the change and successfully tracks the desired velocity. In conclusion, we have proposed an online framework that methodically uses data in a step-to-step -step fashion, providing an interpretable, robust, and data-efficient way to synthesize bipedal walking behaviors that adapts to changes in environment and robot dynamics.